Hi guys, today we'll be talking about calculating the course and distance between two geographical positions given on the earth using Mercator sailing. Uh, Mercator sailing is different from plane sailing. Uh, it takes into account the curvature of the earth as opposed to plane sailing, which is good enough only for short distances for up to 600 nautical miles because it doesn't take into account the curvature of the earth. It assumes that the earth is absolutely flat. Now Mercator courses are drawn on Mercator charts which assumes that the longitudes or the meridians are parallel and perpendicular lines equidistanced from one another and that is why you can see in this diagram here the triangle drawn I have drawn the D long uh, between the two positions here because D longs or the difference in longitudes are supposed to be equidistant uh, between two uh, positions on the earth now this is not true because if meridians were actually lines on the surface of the earth the earth is a spheroid it's an oblate spheroid it's not a flat surface lines could not be perpendicular and parallel so the lines would be curving around the poles so the distances between them would be reducing uh, as you move towards the poles so to compensate for this uh, wrong assumption mercator charts draw uh, latitudes at different lengths between one another so the distances between latitudes if i say this is zero degrees the differences in the distance between the latitudes would be slowly increasing uh, as you go towards the pole all right so and the distance between these latitudes would be called uh, what you call is dmp or difference in the meridional paths you get this from the norris nautical almanac as i'll show you later all right, so that's the a bit of a theory behind this question. So let's go back to calculating the course and distance between these two positions. To do that, first we calculate the d lat between the two positions. And as you can see here, the d lat, and you should consult my previous videos where I've shown how to calculate d lat. I'll just give a quick recap here. So the latitude of A and latitude of B are in the different hemispheres. One is in south and one is in north. The vessel is going from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere. So it takes the name of the direction in which the vessel is traveling, which is north. And because they are in different hemisphere, you add the two values to get your d lat. All right, so your d lat becomes 46 degrees 26 minutes north in this case. And you need to convert it into minutes for further calculations. And how you do that? You just multiply the degrees by 60, only the degrees. In this case, it will be 2760. And then you add the remaining minutes to it. And you get your d lat in minutes. Similarly, your D-long, because it's in different longitudes, east and west, you will add the two values. And of course, it takes the name of west because we are going from an easterly to westerly direction. And again, to convert it into minutes, just multiply the degrees by 60 and then add the remaining minutes to it and you should be getting 2399 as your D-long. All right, once you have your D-lat and your D-long values, we will need to calculate something called as dmp as i have explained before your meridional paths so difference in medi meridional paths and uh, that is calculated by finding out the meridional paths for the two latitudes from the norris nautical almanac so how do we do that let me show it to you so firstly we calculate the meridional path for latitude a 34 degrees and 40 minutes south all right so you go into the meridional paths and this is given in the norris nautical almanac so for 34 degrees the degrees are located horizontally minutes are located vertically so for 34 degrees and 40 minutes um, here is 34 go down vertically to 40 minutes and you see the answer is 2206.61 and that's what it should say well just pause the video if you're not sure where i found 2206.61 from and see this is what it says uh, for 11 degrees and 46 minutes now whether it's south or not doesn't matter you go into the same tables we go back into the tables for 11 degrees and 46 minutes you can see that for 11 degrees uh, is horizontally given and then for 46 minutes just go down vertically you can pause the video here if you think i'm going a bit fast and you'll see that for 46 minutes i've underlined the value there it should be 706.25 and that's what it should say in my calculations as well so 706.25 is what it says to get your final dmp from these two meridional paths the rules are same as calculating d lat uh, opposite names such as south and north you will add the two values and this is your final dmp value all right having said that just put it in the formula here so the first thing that you do is calculate your course tan course equals 
d long by dmp if you put in the values in the calculator uh, such as 2399 divided by 2912.86 you should be getting is 0 0.8 two three five nine if i keep it to five decimal places you can keep it more it results in more accuracy but five is good enough for calculations as well and then of course you take a tan inverse of this value so tan inverse of this value here and what you should get is uh, 39 degrees 28 point nearly five minutes 39 degrees 28.5 minutes all right in your calculators now because this is a course we cannot have the course in decimals because you can't steer a ship in decimals of degrees or minutes you can only steer it in uh, a round figure maximum 39.5 degrees but normally we keep it to a round figure and that's why although i have got 39 degrees 28.5 in my calculator i have used the value of 39 degrees in my final answer all right and why is it north 39 west north comes from the dlat and west comes from the dlong so this shows that we are on a northwesterly course so north 39 degrees west equals 3 to 1 degrees true how is that because if you visualize north and west where west is 270 and north is 360 and you are on northwesterly course and this value here becomes 39 degrees so this shows that you are here on a 3 to 1 degrees you always measure from north or south you don't measure from west or east so it has to be north 39 west this becomes 360 minus 39 which is 3 to 1 degrees all right now let's go to the second formula here which is show to for us to calculate the distance so because cos cos equals d light by distance and i don't know my distance i will take my unknown to one side and take my known to the other so this gives us distance equals d light by cos cos uh, the d light value can be taken from above the course is 3 to 1 you can use 39 you will get the same answer sometimes you get a negative but you can just ignore it and if you put in those values the answer you should be getting is somewhere close to 3584.9 nautical miles now you can keep this answer in decimals because this is a distance not a course this can be in decimals you can round it off to 3585 as well but uh, this is approximately the answer that you should be getting so your final answer will be course 3 to 1 degrees and distance 3584.9 nautical miles so this is one of the questions for Mercator Sailing. Let's do another type of question for Mercator Sailing, which gives us the departure position, the course steered, and components for cal calculating the distance, right? And we have to find the position or the final position if we steer a course and distance from the given departure position. So to do that, let's start with the course here course is 235 degrees to this can be written as south 55 degrees west uh, why because if this is 235 this is west uh, at 270 and south at 180 you are at 235 this is 235 you are on south westerly course right like i said before you always measure courses from north or south uh, not from west or east right so you get a south 55 degrees west course here why do you need that because you need your south and west or north and east or any other components to name your d lat and d long so once you get your course you can name your d lat and d long all right since here the distance was not given straightforward distance equals speed by time we've got the speed as 14 knots time travel 76 hours just multiply the two values and you get your distance as 1064 nautical miles and then it's pretty straightforward from there your first formula is cos cos equals d lat by distance you need your d lat so you take the known to one side and keep the unknown d lat on the other this shows that is cos cos by distance will give you your d lat value put in the value for the course 55 degrees you can also use 235 as given in the question if you want you will get the same answer like i've said before you might get a negative component sometimes just ignore the negative component so if you put in the value straightforward in your calculator you will get the answer as 610.3 nautical miles or minutes rather but you need the answer in degrees and minutes so one degree equals 60 minutes so to convert 610.3 minutes just divide 610.3 by 60 the answer that you should be getting is 10 degrees 10.3 minutes how you got the south component like i've said before from the course that we derived 
it said south 55 west this is where how i name my d lad so my name my d lad will be named as per south all right so now i've got my departure latitude as given in the question i've got my d lat as calculated by me and then i can calculate my arrival lat in this case of course you were on the north hemisphere initially to start with you were on 7 degrees and 43 minutes north but your d lat because it's 10 degrees which is more than 7 degrees 43 minutes you kind of go into the southern hemisphere now by 2 degrees and 27.3 minutes all right so from northern you go into the southern hemisphere so you've got your arrival lat and you've got your departure lat now you need to find out the dmp value as you've done in the previous example so to do that just find out your mp values or meridional paths values from the northeast nautical table now for 7 degrees and 43 minutes just go back into the table you can see for 7 degrees and 43 minutes i will just go back into the table 7 degrees is here on the horizontal column just go down by 243 and it should say 461.26 okay just pause the video if you think i'm going a bit fast but you can trace the values yourself so 461.26 and this is what it says here 461.26 north because it's north latitude now for arrival latitude 2 degrees 27.3 you need to find the value again remember you don't find the value for d lat many people make the mistake while solving the question don't make this mistake don't find it for the d lat find it for the arrival latitude now to find it for 2 degrees and 27.3 minutes south uh, you need to find the values first for 2 degrees and 27 minutes as i've shown here and then 2 degrees and 28 minutes uh, so the interpolation section shows you how to interpolate the values now if you go into the tables you will find the values for 2 degrees and 27 minutes as 146.05 and 2 degrees and 28 minutes as 147.04 now you need to interpolate between those two values and how do you do that so this basically shows that for a difference of one minute that is 27 and 28 for a difference of one minute the difference is 0.99 between the mp values how did i get 0.99 147.04 minus 146.05 these are the two values here so the difference between these two values is 0.99 and the difference between these two values on your left is one minute so for one minute the difference is 0.99 you need to find for 0.3 of a minute because you need to find for 27.3 so just take this here bring this here this is what it should result in what you get is 0.297 right now what do you do with this 0.297 you will just add to this value here because you can see that as you go from 27 to 28 the value of the mp is increasing you need to find for 27.3 so as i've shown below just add 0.297 to the value for 2 degrees and 27 minutes which is 146.05 and this is your final answer that you should get you can round it off to 146.35 in this case and then put it back to the arrival latitude value over here right now once you get both the values they are north and south so you will add the two values and you get the final dmp value as 607.61 once you do that put it in the formula here tan cos equals d long by dmp your d long is on the one side dmp goes to the other because it's a known value so tan of 55 degrees times 607.61 will give you your d long as 867.7 minutes divided by 60 degree 60 because one degree equals 60 minutes and this is what you should get is your d long 014 27.7 it's west because we are on a southwesterly component remember we did we found that before through our course that we are on a southwesterly component and that's why you name your d long west so you've got your departure longitude now you got your d long now so from longitude west longitude you're going further west so you will add the two values and you will get your arrival longitude here which is 097 41.7 west so your final position when you depart from a course on a certain depart from a position on a certain course and speed is here 2 degrees 27.3 minutes south and 097 41.7 minutes west all right go through this video again pause where you think i'm going a bit fast uh, and stop if you can't understand it and watch it again uh, you will surely get the two examples.